Hi guys, today we're going to have a quick video on how to fix a specific defect on your 3D prints. Uh, and I'm going to show you that right away. So first of all, you have uh, this kind of 3D print and this is your defect or how it's going to might look like. As you can see, part of it uh, didn't print that well. I hope you can see it well here, yes. You see something went wrong in the middle of the print and it had a line. It actually doesn't look very solid. Uh, it's the, uh, yeah, the Nerf Blaster I'm printing here. And you know, it looks, doesn't look that good. So what I'm gonna do in order not to restart the print, I'm gonna put a bit of a epoxy all the way around here and that will make it really strong and solid like the rest of it. The infill here was 30%, so the outer layer thickness is really critical. And start with uh, mixing up epoxy. I have uh, yeah, this uh, epoxy from the local store here called Biltiama, uh, which is, I would say, quite okay. Uh, yeah, it's a two component epoxy. Let's see how to use it. Okay, it doesn't suggest warnings here. Norwegian. No, I mean, it doesn't say how to use it. Uh, just the safety instructions on it. But uh, it's just mis mixing it all together. 50-50 uh, or 1-to-1. One -one. And that should do it. Uh, for that, I'm having a small... Uh, Kind of a thingy here where I'll put it all together and let's see if it will work. Woo! Wow! Nice. Now I'm gonna use this uh, scientific, pseudo scientific method. <laughs> and I actually I don't know which one is the first one and which one is the second. Mm, where is the main? Component base. Okay, this is base, the blue, and this is the hardener. So you should actually start with the base, and of course I uh, <laughs> spoiled it here a bit. So I'll clean my uh, spaddle, and I'll do it all over again. I'll first actually mix it as well because it was standing still for quite a while. So now it looks good. And I just pour it in. And I mean, I need a half of this uh, volume. Uh, for this one, well, you might want to consider using the safety goggles. I guess it's not so good if this one goes, gets into your eye. But, uh, yeah, I'm an experienced epoxy mixer so that should not harm me in any way also mixing it all together first all right and it looks good oh, it smells terrible i think it contains some sort of ammonia here so yeah not really pleasant smell ah, okay now i don't have a way to mix it all together it's going to be terrible, <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. Ah, it actually works. So you see you need a larger volume to mix it together and okay. And now I will start applying it here. It should be as easy as that. basically using it as a filler. When it's hardened, it's supposed to be harder than the, than the plastic. So it all adds to the strength of the overall uh, 
shell here. And of course it's going to be dirty as hell because, yeah, epoxy is always messy. I might have used some uh, masking tape, but I mean, I'm okay with what I have here inside. And then I'll just uh, use sandpaper. It is really, really gray indeed. And my fingers are also gray. I'm all gray. It's terrible. <laughs> all right. Almost done with it here. And you could see the perfect, the perfect measurement of the volume needed. I mean, that's, oof, it's an eagle eye. Years of experience, years of experience working with epoxy. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. It's actually maybe my second or third time working with epoxy at all. I mean, that's why it's so nicey, as you can see. All right, well, that's it, approximately. That's how it, uh, it might look like. And this will be the test sample, actually. The remaining material here on the shell here yeah but this one so far looks okay ish i would say just has to has to fill in all the gaps all right guys that's it for now i will uh, continue video when uh, this one hardens thank you and that's how it looks and that's how it hardened it actually is really solid now so the experiment worked, it's good. I have to sand it, but uh, looks nice. I put some uh, paper around it and it worked really, really well. Yeah, so you can make it and repair your 3D printed part like that with epoxy.